Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Every time we just figure on Cyclone, it's time for more Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. We're going to be doing the first ACS 64 Amtrak uh, service today. The tracks are for train service. Today we're starting at Baltimore Penn Station at the northern end of the route, and we're going to head back where we came from before, Washington Union Station. We're going to make stops at BWI Airport, but today we're also going to make a stop at New Carrollton. And, uh... I'm being, we're being told in the description we're likely to encounter more than just trains on the tracks today. Oh, fun. Um, okay, this could be promising. Let's, uh, this is 10 minutes longer than the previous trip in the other direction. So this is an average scenario length, 45 minutes. Uh, I know that uh, I prefer, I know that anything smaller than that seems like kind of a little bite-sized scenario. So things like Falmouth Branch, for example, are pretty much bite-sized scenarios. And um, yeah, just a random example because I picked a short route there. You can say the same for the exterior of Kingswear, the uh, portion from um, Pennington and Kingswear as well. That's also a short section because that's a heritage railway nowadays. But it's not simulated as a heritage railway, so we're not going to talk about that. It's simulated as a full route in the 50s. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at tracks there for trains and uh, staying in America, not in the UK right now. Uh, looking at tracks for trains, ACS 64 Amtrak. I'll give you the tour of this next time because I actually have, uh, I wanna look, I'm looking at the signal guide for this video. But for the Friday video that's going to be coming up for this uh, number four, when I, when I do this scenario, I'll try and give you a tour of the train on this scenario. For right now, I'm just going to be using the general keyboard controls, so it's, I'm not going to worry about any funky features on this one. Let's get started. Good afternoon, engineer. Today, you'll be operating Northeast Regional number 171 en route to Washington Union Station. You're scheduled to depart Baltimore at 1532, so ensure the train is ready to leave at that time. However, do not depart until instructed by the conductor. And they were right on time last time. Let's see if they are this time. The commuter train in front of you just reported a group of kids trespassing at the southern portal of the BNP tunnel. So stay vigilant and report any findings to CETC2 train dispatcher. One word was off the scroll. There you go. One word was scroll down once you get the final word. That's how it works. Anyway, let's uh, set up and we're going to... You can see the lovely Amtrak cab we have here. I also just got an achievement, New York New Haven ACS 64 engineer. Yay, I'm an engineer. Uh, again, we're in suppression mode right now. Let's open the doors, by the way. We should do that. Because you can see we do have to pick up pastures here at Baltimore. We're going to be going out via the South Portal. And it looks like we're going to do our BWI pickup. We're going to have to go via the North Limits Bowie. And then we'll go to Carrollton and eventually to Washington Station. So I'm assuming some of this is uh, kid avoiding routing. There you go. And the track ahead is doing some really interesting coloring here. I don't know what's going on with the track on this route, but that looks a little, you know, not normal. Let's uh, pop over the, uh, oops, that's not how I want to do it. Let's pop out here for a second and take a look. Yeah, that is uh, texturing very, very badly. I don't know if that's something that can be fixed. But, uh, yeah, that should not be doing that, I don't think. That should not be doing that. Anyway, let's uh, check our departure time. I actually do need to get ready to leave. I don't have time for a screenshot anymore. We're also not right on time on the uh, moment of release, but let's get going anyway. Conductor, Northeast Regional, number 171, ready to depart Baltimore. Proceed on signal indication. Roger, this train is speeding up very slowly. I am now finding. So, looks like the uh, track glitchiness has seems to have stopped for the time being which is good news. Okay, so this train does have a very slow speed up. This is good to know. Very good to know. It seems if you use the horn, the uh, bell automatically turns on on this train. So if this, if you do turn, if you do use the horn without turning on the bell first, make sure that you use the push the B button twice. That is how you would turn the horn off. I know the uh, CP train on uh, the Canadian Mountain Passage does the exact same thing because I've used that train in a little mock-up scenario before, and I had that problem and I commented on that. A little weird. Still not an expert on the tracks here, so I don't know where that track actually goes. You can see a track going off in the distance there. Find my headlights. Oh, they were on. We're good. And you can see that we have a very, very smooth throttle here. We can basically fine-tune to a specific number, it looks like. So, um, 
I was all over 12, 13, and 14 there. So we're definitely able to fine tune a specific number to try to maintain a specific speed. So we might be able to uh, try to um, find numbers to help us stay where we want to in the uh, speed bracket on this uh, particular journey. That was the St. John's Tunnel. I don't remember the name of this one or the next one. I don't have the map up right now. But I gave them to you in the previous scenario, so. I think 27% is holding us at 30 very nicely right now. If we check our uh, time of arrival, we don't actually see it because we're going via the tunnel right now. That is still in the next mile. So if we skip ahead and look at this, we have a, nine, a 10 mile journey to BWI Airport. And that is an arrival at, thir at 1546. We are gonna get a faster pace at some point as we uh, head into the uh, as we head into the uh, main track heading towards there. If we were to stay at this pace, we'd be extremely late. So needless to say, we're gonna have to have a higher speed limit at some stage here. Twenty-seven seems to be a good dialed in number right now. Slight reduction, but that's fine. There's the forty five. This will improve our times ahead. By the way, you might be noticing that my uh, voice sounds a little louder on this video compared to the last video. When I was, um, I recorded this video before seeing comments on a previous video that I posted, and someone made a comment that the uh, there was no really no game audio for some reason, and there was. It's just very very quiet because I didn't want it to overpower me, because uh, you know that makes it a little less enjoyable for viewing purposes. So what I decided to do was increase the game volume a little bit, but I also gave a slight boost to my own volume. Uh, so as a result, I need to be a little bit louder. Uh, which is intended. So I'm going to uh, try to um, try it on this video, see how it sounds. I may make some further fine adjustments to it, but I'm going to try to have the increased game audio for you to at least some extent. I moved it up a decent amount here, so hopefully you're hearing the train a little bit better on this video. One thing I do know is that on American routes, it's actually not as good to have that loud trade on it because it can be really really strong and overpowering so uh i tend to try not to talk when the train is uh, revving up for that reason on a train like that but uh, yeah it will happen baby towel to finish the stretch of towels. I don't think we have another underground section this entire route. So we're going to start work making way back up to uh, 30 miles per hour and uh, that's going to allow us. You do not observe the group of kids. Amtrak number 1712 CETC dispatcher to over. I said that wrong. Go ahead 171 over. No sign of trespass at the south portal of the MP tunnel near Fulton interlocking over. Copy 171, over and out. Whoa, my train is being silly right now. I am not a fan of silly. We're going to see kids later, aren't we? We can go 45 now, so we're speeding it up. We can now go 55, so I'm going to continue to speed up. We have 110 right after that, so there's where we're going to get our, uh, where we're going to make our money here, so to speak. 90 right after, as you can see, coming up in about 9 tenths of a mile. I wonder what those yellow marks are supposed to mean. I don't actually know what that means. Ooh, that was a nice bright light in the cab. Pretty sure that was from the passing train. As you can see, I've got my throttle up to 100% right now. We've got 
we got the ability to go up to a high speed now. We want to try to get to that high speed. Uh, of course, I have no idea how my brakes work on this train yet, so that's also interesting. We're going to give it a test as we start approaching the station. When I see it on the head, I'll give it a little bit of a test to see what happens. Or if I have to slow down for another speed limit, like, you know, for that 125 coming up back to a 90 or something like that. Then we'll test it then. One twenty is not a valid test for this. I'm not going to get up to one twenty five in time. We have an alert. What are we being alerted to here? It must be warning me about the one twenty because I don't see anything else going on, signals or anything. So it's probably a warning on the 120, but we didn't get an alert on the 90, interestingly. I wonder why. Scan ahead here just to give you more view of the window out front. Nice little curve there. Oh, I zoomed out a little early. Sorry about that. Now it's a straight track again. I'm not noticing signals for some reason. I wonder why that is. Either I'm blind or... Um, you expect there to be a cab signal indicator in the cab here as well. I don't see it yet. Warning. What do we have here? That was an all green, so it's definitely not the signal. Oh, it's warning the 90. Excellent. The 90 is what it's warning us. So I'm moving the brakes. Uh, we have a combined throttle indicator with the brake, as you can see. So I moved the uh, brake into about a third brake power on the uh, throttle. I'm going to use that to bring it back to 90, and hopefully I'm back to it in time. I may have to increase that number into the negative. It's looking likely I might have to do that, but we'll see what happens. I might be okay. No, I'm not. A little more. And there's VWI Airport coming up anyway, so we definitely want to hit the brakes anyway. So we're going to keep the speed coming down, even though we are down to the 90 in time. We are going to keep that coming down. Which means I'm going to actually increase the negative at this point. We are very early, so there's no reason to bring it down too quickly. But at the same time, bringing it down really quickly will also get me to a position where I can go into the station at a slower speed. And thus ensure I have even more time to stop properly. And a better accuracy on the stop as well. So I'm going to keep that coming down because I kind of want to get down anyway. I'm now above the uh, number of distance left in the platform. So I kind of want to keep that coming down. Differential of 11 at that last check there. I'm sure the uh, regular brake does a very good job with that. I just want to use the uh, slowdown brake at this point because that will helped me quite a bit in terms of getting myself down to a good crawl speed, which is what I'm doing. So I'm now down to that crawl speed. I'm going to keep it coming down just a wee bit more here. I'm 
gonna go ahead and just crawl in at this. I'm gonna use the regular brakes at this point to bring the train to a stop. So here we go, minimum. Bring it up to, uh, that might do. That will do. Very nice, I might add. And the doors are now open at BWI Airport, track number three. Conductor, Regional 171, okay to go. I didn't mean to read Conductor. Anyway. Get to a 50% throttle to get ourselves going. Hopefully that'll do the job for getting up to a good, decent speed here. We are leaving BWI Airport on our way to New Carrollton. We have to be there by about four o'clock, so it's gonna be a little bit tight. Also, something I found out as I was trying to speed up leaving BWI Airport, even if you're only around 30 miles per hour, trying to move up to a full throttle at that stage will still give you wheel slip. So I have to ease the uh, throttle up as I gain speed. And that's really the only way to do it with this train. You can't really do much else in terms of gaining speed quickly. So you have to treat this thing like a uh, very temperamental child. No, I don't want to go up the speed right away. You must. I am an eight. You are making me late. No, I don't wanna. Sorry, won't do that again. Uh, that alarm, by the way, is a vigilance alarm. It sounds every minute. So um, if you don't touch anything for a minute, it will go off. I believe if I do touch something, it resets that minute. So for example, if I notch the um, throttle up just slightly, I'm gonna wait till 30. If I notch that throttle up slightly right now, just like that, that should reset the alarm because I've now touched something in the cab and moved something in the cab. If I don't touch anything for a minute, the train wants to verify that I'm not dead, basically. And if it thinks that I'm dead, it will put the brake train into emergency brake and it will uh, stop it. I'm gonna increase that throttle just a little bit more and see if I can get a uh, continue a good pace of speed increase here. That would be very appropriate. Yeah, I definitely reset the uh, original device because it would have gone off within that minute. So let's see when it actually goes off again. Probably before the end of the minute. I didn't check when I made my last uh, adjustment. Probably before the end of the minute here. Or right on the minute. That's what I did. Okay, good to know. Let's move the uh, throttle up a bit more now, please. I turned the bell on so you can still hear it. Can't hear the horn very loud. When you're going at a high speed, that horn just trails behind you quickly. So everyone, everyone in the passengers behind you hears a nice oh right in their ears. I'm sure that's pleasant. So I moved the throttle up to 100% now. There's a train going by.
little neighborhood over there to the left. Imagine the home in this area have to be expensive. You're near the nation's capital, what do you expect? There's your, are you awake? Alarm. You're going to hear that a lot now because I've got the train at max speed until I actually pull the throttle back. I'm not going to be doing anything else operational wise with the train. Eight miles away from North Limits Bowie. It is a mark to go via checkpoint, so I don't know if anything's happening at that checkpoint or if I'm just um, going by it. By the way, I need to be ready to come to a stop if I need to. There's the usual wake up alarm. Last time I gave you station names, I screwed up in this one. So uh, let's just assume it's one of the stations in the middle of these two that we're going to. You can see a track going off to the left there. Looks like a siding. I knew that was coming. Yeah, definitely a sign because it's rejoining us. There's a water feature out there to the uh, left. We're now at 120 miles per hour. We're coming into a downhill, so we should maintain a slight increase here. We're going to have an uphill coming up. I'm actually going to cut the throttle back a little bit now. That seems like a safe thing to do, which resets my driver rentals device. I'm still gaining speed, so I'm going to bring it back even more, further resetting my vigilance device. So I'm at a 50% uh, throttle right now, which is fine. We're now going into an uphill, so I'm going to re-increase that throttle to a higher amount. Very high amount. In fact, I'm not even maintaining my speed on this uphill right now. I'm losing speed on this uphill right now. A mild inconvenience. We have another uphill coming up, so I'm going to try to take advantage of this downhill and gain speed. Not much more I can do to it. I have to uh, do what I'm given the ability to do here. 1.1% now, now shortening out, but that's what I had on the downhill gradient there. I might have missed a higher number. We're now on a 0.1% gradient of some form, and we're heading into an uphill gradient. Just reaching 1%. It's a very, very large uphill gradient, so we are going to lose a little bit of speed here as we reach the north limits of Bowie, or Bowie. platform. Thank 
you. You just see that? I think I saw people back there. You observe two adult males trespassing on the right way right away at milepost 120.1. Engineer, Amtrak number 171 to CETC1 dispatcher over. Go ahead, 171 over. I saw two trespassers at the north limits of Bowie Interlocking. They were standing in the garage in the gauge of number one track and appeared to be adult males dressed in black. Over. We'll inform Amtrak please immediately. Thank you for your report. Over and out. We are now about uh, five miles and change from New Carrollton, track number three. We are pushing the limits of our arrival at this point, so this is not looking favorable for us. Of course, at this speed, we are going at the approximate uh, of uh, two miles every minute right now, so we are still okay for our stop at this point. We're just pushing the limits of it. If the ETA thinks you're gonna be late, that's a problem. So we're going to be, there is another track going off to the left there behind some trees. So we're going to be uh, trying to literally pull off the perfect stop here, which might be a challenge. Hello. down to three miles away from New Carrollton. As we get to two, I'm going to probably have to start slowing down because we're at a high speed right now, so that's going to make this a bit of a challenge. Back with two miles to go and change. Yeah, I, might, I think it'll be okay for this stop. There's another station. I should be okay for this stop. Perfect timing for the alarm. We're at two miles. Let's slow down a little bit. In fact, there's a station right there. We're going to need a massive slowdown. I'm not liking this at all. A 50% break apply, but I'm going to have to apply more than that. Yeah, we're bringing that speed down mightily at this point. Thankfully, we're not getting any wheel slip here. I fully expected some wheel slip. Actually, I need to keep those brakes applied. I'm still above the limit I want to come in at. So this is uh, very, very... Oh, okay, I can ease it off a little bit now. That's good news. In fact, I'm going to ease it off completely and keep a minimal brake power applied at this point. Actually, a little more than that. 35 should be good. And as the entire train gets in, engine can go past the platform, but as the entire train gets in, uh, I'll bring it to a stop. We'll open the doors. If I can't get to the end of the platform in time, I will bring it to a stop anyway, but I should be there because you can see the platform right here. There we are. Doors are open. Back one might not be quite on, but doors are open at New Carrollton track number three.
Regional number 171, okay to go. Roger. Leaving New Carrollton, uh, our next and final stop is Washington Union Station. And I have an interesting report. I've tried this several times because I've been noticing what I thought, and uh, what I still think is some kind of a train or route bug here. And uh, I've noticed something interesting up ahead. So even though our speed limit is 125, we're going to drop to 100, which we're not going to reach, by the way, before we do that, and then get up to 125 later on, you're going to find that when I get to a 95 speed board, I'm going to be doing something very, very different than I normally would do here. And I'll explain when I get up there. So I'm not going to actually get up to my full speed. I'm going to start slowing down, even for the 90, to a much slower speed. Because in the area in question, there is a tendency for the train to develop wheel slip, even at a 50% brake application. And there, the signal bug I'm, that I consider it is something that happens well before you're supposed to be going 45 miles per hour. You actually have to be at that speed a lot earlier. I'll explain when I get up there. So for right now, we're going to go ahead and get up the speed a little bit. I've done anything for a minute, so there's my vigilance. So I'm going to have to uh, see if I can get some feedback here uh, if that is actually correct behavior for this train, what I'm going to be telling you about in a moment, because I don't think it's correct behavior. <laughs> I really don't. And I'm going to have to play by that and hope that the timings all take that into account for the time being. We'll find out. As you can see, we're going to be super early if we were to go at speed right now. So that is... Um, Seven miles to go, uh, I don't know. Seven miles to do, let me try that. Seven miles to go in about 14 minutes. We can literally go at 30 miles per hour and be on time. So there's no reason for us to really rush this. I'm just taking advantage of some speed because I can, and then I'm going to slow it down. So once I have about four miles to go, I'm probably going to trim this feedback quite a bit. And then I'll explain what happens further ahead. Right now we're at under six and a half miles to go to Union Station. We're approaching 80 miles per hour. I'm not going to go beyond 90 because, again, I have lots of time to do this. I don't need to rush. They don't want me early. So we're going to take our time here. See, I haven't moved the throttle up to 100% throttle because I know that the track here has a tendency to wheel slip right now. And for that reason, I don't want to try to push um, the train too much because when I tried applying sand with an emergency brake for some reason triggered at one point, uh, I found that the sand wasn't even doing anything to stop the wheel slip. So I don't even think the sand works on this train. This train may not have sand. Okay, I'm beyond 90, but I'm not going to do that too much. I'm actually coming up on 4 miles now, so I'm going to start, uh, in fact, there's the 95, so I'm going to start slowing down now. That should be good enough for braking right now. You can see I'm going well under the 95 that I need to be going by that sign. Like right now, if I were to get down to 60, that would suffice in terms of the time I have to go, because I only got about four miles to go. 
three and a half miles to go, so 60 would actually be pretty darn good, but I'm actually going to have to go a lot slower than that. I'm going to have to get down to 45. Uh, and that signal ahead is important for this mission, believe it or not. Because uh, if I'm not down to 45 by the time I reach that signal, the game is going to do some very cruel, thing, cruel things with me. Uh, you'll see in a minute. I'll tell you in a minute. I'm down at 50 right now. I'm going to stay there for the moment. If it will let me even out, let me even out the. Thank you. I kind of wish there was a slight hold there in the middle of the throttle there. So I'm six, mile, six tenths of a mile away from that signal. If I'm not going 45 miles per hour by that signal, the train will give me an alert that I will not be able to respond to, and I'm going to find myself suddenly in an emergency brake. Here's a Northeast Regional going by, as you can see. So I need to get my train down to that 45 by that signal. I don't know why it works like this, it's not right to have to do it that way. Uh, the, it's a signal warning you you need to slow down to 45 miles per hour. It should not be in effect at the moment you're told about it. It really should not be. So I don't know why the train behaves like that. I'm gonna find out if this is correct behavior for this train on this track. If it isn't, hopefully it's something that can be fixed. But um, yeah, I'm a little mystified as to why. There's the, warning, the signal right there that you can see. And as you see, I have not been given any kind of warning in relation to that. We're also going to have to slow down to a 20 up ahead, so I'm actually a little concerned the next signal might give me an issue with that as well, but there is another signal before the 20, so maybe that's the one I'm going to look at. Either way, I'm going to slow down now anyway, because I am well within two miles. I can literally go 20 and I'm fine, so there's no problem with me going down to 20 right now if I want to. And I'm going to. There's no problem with it. Even down to 15, I can do it right now. So we are bringing the speed down. Yeah, don't rely on that 45 speed board to tell you what you're doing. You're gonna have to respond to that before you even see it. Because if you wait until the 45 appears, you start hitting the brakes, you're gonna be put into a alert that you can't do anything about, and you're gonna be uh, put on emergency brake and wheel slip combination together. So you're not gonna enjoy that very much. I advise not doing that. I'm getting down 20 by that signal even, signal even if I don't have to. So you can see we have a clear signal here with a yellow indicator over. I'm not sure what the yellow indicator means. Maybe that's a track indicator. Another train coming, pen line number 428, also going very slowly because again, this is a 20 area coming up and I'm now going 21, which I not want to do because I'm on a downhill. Yay for downhills. Still downhill. There we go. One more line is going to join us as we enter, approach Washington Union Station. We're seven minutes away from our actual stop time. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be super early here. And thus, we're going to get our speed down to 15 very shortly as well. Like, it's, we are obscenely early right now. We, we're probably going to stop by 14 after, definitely before quarter after. Because even at 15 miles an hour, we'll be there in three minutes. A little more break to get that speed down just a wee bit more, please. And thank you. Now, after you have one signal behave like that, you don't take your chances on the other ones. You do not. So there is the Union Station coming up.
You have to maintain a uh, brake pressure applied in order to get, in order to keep our speed from increasing beyond where it should be. You can see Washington Union Station Track 24 is a through station. You can go through that station and literally drive by the Capitol, the U.S. Capitol. We're not going to be doing that because uh, we stop at Union Station Track 24. Now we have no signal indicated here, so there's nothing noted here as to what we're going to do. You can see some kind of, I believe that's a train on the track ahead of us. Either that or it's a tunnel, I'm not sure. It's something. It is something. That is for sure. Please tell me we're turning. <laughs> Please tell me we're turning at this point. That's all I want to know. We are. I figured we had to be. Probably going to turn back to the right right about here. Because there's a red right there. Okay, either I just passed a red or... Um, that red applied to a different track. Either way, we did not get stopped on the game itself, which is fine. You can see the other signal is for the other direction there, so the reds on that are for a different direction. Actually, we're going into this track, so that's a different track. And there's the road overhead. So we are pulling into track 24 right now, one of the four, I believe, through tracks here. All the ones on the other side, as you can see, will terminate up here. So I'm kind of just keeping an eye out the window here to show you the terminating section. Boy, this feels fast. Washington, D.C. Yes. Yes. Welcome to Washington, D.C. So let's go back in the cab as we finish here. You can see another train over there on the left that we didn't really... Oh, you can see other trains indicate here. Penn Line, Acela Express. Their uh, services are hanging around in the area. And if I look back out the window, you're going to see that those tracks over there actually also go through. So they're fine. And as predicted, 1614, here we are making our stop at Washington Union Station. I'm going to put the regular brakes on now because those are the ones that actually are supposed to hold the train so we don't keep the throttle applied. And there we go. And that's... Oh, we actually are already in our stop pattern. We're not actually doing a um, pickup. We're just stopping. So that's the end of the scenario. Let's look at the train. So yeah, not sure why we didn't have to pick up passengers here. I'm a little mystified by that. But in any case, uh, excellent work. Secure the locomotive and then your shift will be completed. So maybe the service was completed at New Carroll. And we don't have any more passengers on this service. That might have been what it was. Our service completed New Carroll and we were done. Um, someone's going by. I don't know. Oh, maybe it's a car overhead. I don't know. But in any case, uh, yeah, that's the end of that. And yeah, I'm a little mystified as to why it works the way it does. But let's get to the ending screen and uh, confirm that everything went the way it should. So that was a little more trouble than it was worth. Uh, WB Standard Journey Unlocked, that is for completion of this scenario. And again, I arrived three minutes early, but um, the way that track behaves, the extra caution is definitely warranted uh, if you did want to go ahead and use the full time there. The extra caution is definitely warranted the way that works. So I'm surprised that we... Um, I'm surprised that train has that problem there. I really don't know why it does. That train should be able to slow down in that area without wheel slip, and there should not be that signal indicator causing that problem. I'm going to ask questions to the relevant people on that uh, that I can that I actually have access to, <laughs> and uh, namely Brandon, who wrote the scenario, uh, being one of those. Uh, but I'm going to ask relevant questions and figure out what's going on. Hopefully, I'll have an answer for you on that next time I drive this train. But um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. In any case, I'll see you next time for the third snare in this pack. Uh, and I'll see, I want to wish you a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever your feet, you're part of the world. And that next snare will start in three, two, one.